For this closed loop system, we are interested in the value of k that results in no steady state error when a ramp input a over s squared is applied to the system in the input r of s. In order to do that, we need to create the transfer function for this system. Transfer function here, y over r is s plus 1 over s plus 3 times 1 over s is the line function divided by 1 plus the same function times the feedback function k. Simplifying this leads to our final transfer function, which is s plus 1 over s plus 3 times s plus k times s plus 1. And this simplifies to s plus 1 over s squared plus s times 3 plus k plus k. Now let's define the error function. The error is the input minus the output. The input is a over s squared and the output is the transfer function times the input r of s. So this function times a over s squared. Now we can factor a of s. And you're left with 1 minus that entire function. We can now find a common denominator here. There is a over s squared times the common denominator, that is s squared plus s plus k plus k times 1 minus s minus 1. This now simplifies to a s squared times s squared, 3s minus s is 2s, so plus 2 plus k, all times s, and plus k minus 1 divided by s squared plus s, 3 plus k plus k. So this is the expression for the error. Now the error in a steady state is the limit when e of s times s tends to 0. So e of s times s is this function times s. So this s squared, can, one of the s cancels. So you have the limit when s tends to 0 of a over s, not s squared again, because the theorem is e times s times the function Now let's analyze the result we have here. As it stands, when s tends to 0, a over s tends to infinity. And the error in the steady state tends to infinity. The only way this does not tend to infinity is if somehow we can cancel this s with one of the s's from the top here. That can be done if we can eliminate k minus 1, because that's the term that it doesn't have s. So by looking at this, if so when k is 1, then this term here goes to 0, and you can rewrite this expression as the limit when s tends to 0 of a over s. The denominator here becomes s times 4 plus 1, k equals to 1. And the top now, this term goes to 0, we can factor one of the s's here. So we have s, s plus 2 plus k, k is 1, s plus 3. And when s tends to 0, the steady state error tends to 3. Now if k is different than 1, this term here cannot be cancelled. And you cannot factor this s with s's from the numerator here, which means that when s tends to 0, 
a over s tending to 0 tends to infinity, and the steady state error in that case tends to infinity. So from this analysis, we can conclude that the error will never go to 0. There is no suitable value of k that will make the steady state error go to 0. It either, go, it either goes to 3 when k equals 1, or goes to infinity when k is different than 1.